As a boxing fan and also working in the sport as well, I think it uh, has brought boxing right up to the highest level in the sports scene. I was walking to the station yesterday and heard people speaking about it, you know what I mean? So it's created an interest outside the sport. Yeah, I wish it had been four years ago when it was at its maximum, potential wise and sort of talent wise and ability wise, but it's happening. They've been trying to match them up for ages, so now finally they've decided to get it on. Paggy can get his range, being in the South Boss stance, he will cause Mayweather a lot of problems. Mayweather hides behind that front left shoulder, it doesn't work against the South Paw. They say styles make fights, but he's still, you've got a, an aggressive fighter in Pacquiao, and you've got like a counter punching boxer in Mayweather. Sometimes a South Paw against an orthodox fighter, it's, it's a wee bit boring, but you're speaking about the two, the two best fighters on the planet, and I'm sure they've done their homework. Mayweather's style, as I've said before, is steeped in fundamentalism. His boxing fundamentals are arguably some of the best in history. Well, Mayweather's one of the most defensive boxers there is. His skills are phenomenal in defense. Mayweather's been doing it since he was a baby. Well, something's worked for him, and it's kept him going for years. He doesn't punch as some of the best in history. He doesn't need to, because his boxing ability is far and away better than most. Whether Mayweather's legs are not as strong, whether they're as... Uh, well, it's, I don't think it's up for debate. He's not the same fighter that he was, say, three or four years ago, re leg, leg strength-wise, but he makes up for that in so many other ways. Pacquiao, I would say, um, is not the same fighter he was four years ago. Um, there's, a lot, there's a lot more wear and tear on him. Obviously, he suffered the Marquez knockout. But he was dominating Marquez up until the point when he was chin, so we, we should never forget that. Pacquiao throws that many punches and the speed is unbelievable as well, so I actually think Pagia needs to put him under pressure, but it has to be educated pressure. It can't be just pressure, because if he does just tries the pressure, it'll fall into Mayweather's hands. He's going to have to catch Mayweather very, very early, and get him out of his stride rate very early, and do it regularly. If I was Pagia, I would try and land the first punches to his chest. It's harder to hit the head. If you can land the first punches to his chest, then that'll get you in this land. Other punches behind that, don't go head hunting at the start. But we'll see. Maybe for a round or two it'll be technical, but it will get down to an nitty gritty and then we'll see how much way rather has. It really does depend on what on what Pacquiao can do to Mayweather. If he can solve the Mayweather matrix early, then we've got an exciting fight. If he can't, then it's gonna be Mayweather versus Alvarez, you know, which is not exciting. A lot of people say Mayweather is going to cause a stoppage. But Mayweather, to do that, he has to show us a side of him he hasn't shown in years because that, that includes risk. And when you've got a skill factor as high as he's done and a face as good as good looking as he's got, I can't really see it somehow. You know, they, they, I think they're basing it on what Marquez did to Pacquiao, which is a shot for the ages. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm saying Mayweather points decision, but I'd love to see a Pacquiao win. I'll see the uh, Sugar Shane Mosley fight when Sugar Shane Mosley, I think, let Mayweather off twice. Caught him with a first shot, big, big overhand right, bang. Caught him out, while he's, I don't think Pacquiao let him off. I think he's buzzing about too much, boom, boom, boom. Hopefully he'll be moving, find these shots, find his work rate, and, and work that way. I can see Mayweather coping with Pacquiao's power, speed, and variety of punch, and the volume of punches as well. I actually think if Paggy is going to win, he's, he'll stop him in eight and eight, he'll beat him in PKO eight or nine rounds. I think if it goes the distance, the points I think Floyd may be. But then again, that's why it's so interesting. Everybody has their own opinion and uh, it will be very, very interesting.